Hello friends, welcome to today's daily devotion. I'm reading to you out of the Old Testament book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40, verses 10 and 11. Hear now these words. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms, and he carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. I need to help unpack these two verses and the imagery that Isaiah was intending to convey because this is something that we no longer really see that much anymore. But verse 10 and verse 11 are giving us two very contrasting pictures of God. You see, verse 10 is all about God coming in power and in might. And and what Isaiah was envisioning were the armies that were coming towards Jerusalem. And the Babylonian king was at their helm. And and surrounding him were these thousands and thousands of other soldiers riding in chariots with, with great spears and with swords and with weaponry that was so much superior than anything that the people in Jerusalem had. And that is what Isaiah is saying. God is like that, only bigger, only better, only more powerful. He can take even the king of Babylon down. That's verse 10. Verse 11, he tends his flock like a shepherd. (laughs) No chariots, no weaponry. A shepherd, he's taking care of sheep. What are sheep? some of the dumbest animals on the planet. What does the shepherd do? Keeps them out of trouble. The shepherd is not powerful. The shepherd is kind. The shepherd is the one who guides and protects and nourishes the flock under his care, keeping them close to his heart, the psalmist says. Not the psalmist, what Isaiah says. And he gently leads those who have young. The mama sheep, She is so concerned about her baby sheep that she doesn't pay attention to anything else. So the shepherd pays attention for her. What two contrasting, amazing pictures. God is powerful and mighty. God is gentle and caring. God is both. That makes God worth our worship. And may you experience God in his power and in his gentle kindness. I'll see you tomorrow for another daily devotion.